Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to install GIMP 2.10.14. So this is the latest version of GIMP that made some good improvements on this particular version. So I think it's worth installing and updating. So we'll go to Google and type in GIMP here and we'll click here and let's click download 2.10.14. You can click on the release notes and read about what updates have been done. I've kind of read through them briefly but um, you know some good improvements on this particular version so I think it's worth downloading and installing so I'm going to click here and I'm going to click uh, download directly now depending on what operating system you're on you've got show downloads for Linux, Mac OS or Microsoft um, we think you're using Microsoft Windows so this website has detected that I'm using Windows so it's giving me the Windows option but if you need OS, Mac OS click here if you need Linux click here and you can download the files as relevant. I'm going to go to Microsoft Windows and click download GIMP directly. Let's click that and there's going to be a file that's downloading. Uh, it's around 200 megabytes so it's not a small file size but we'll wait for that to download and maybe while it's downloading let's just have a quick let's just go back to um, the main page here while that's downloading we'll click on the release notes and the one thing that I think um, has been improved here if I can find it let's see which is this, uh, this is the main release notes, right? So we want uh, these ones here. So a couple of things, when you're rotating in the, the viewport, you can actually see the rotation of the, of the object outside of the canvas. So out of canvas viewing for it and editing. So that's quite a good improvement there. The one that really, I think is significant improvement is the drop shadows and the effects that you can apply to text. Before when you used to apply a drop shadow, it used to cut off at the boundary box. It used to be a real problem, but now you can see the boundary box for the text here, and you can see the drop shadow sitting outside of the boundary, which is quite important. You know, that was really a, a real sort of problem within GIMP before, but now they've fixed that. I think that's a real tick off. Give them a good tick for that one. It's a good improvement, and you know, definitely worth installing just for this alone but obviously not just for drop shadows the other effects that you apply anything that sits outside the boundary box now gets rendered that quickly so you, i'll leave you to go and look at this this one's quite interesting with the um the normal map as well so if you're doing anything in blender you want to generate normal maps uh, they've actually improved the normal maps in here so for like the bump map and stuff like this um you may want to look at that as well but that's kind of out the scope of what we're going to look at today so let's drag and drop this executable file into this folder we'll close down the web browser and we'll open up this folder so we're left with this download file that we just downloaded 211 meg let's double click on it and we'll just wait for it to boot up i'm going to click yes here so i'm going to click english you can select your relevant language here i'm going to select english click ok and then you've got the software here let's click install and we we'll wait for this to install. It's quite a large file to install, so it may take a little bit of time to, to get through everything. But let's be patient, and then we can check it out and give it a little test and see how it's working. Okay, cool. So GIMP is finished installing. We can click the Finish button here. And let's just see. Um, it should have really overwritten the previous version. So we can click here. You can see it says GIMP 2.10.14. So this is the latest version. Let's load it up and let's do a quick test on the drop shadow for the text. Let's see how well that works. Okay, so here we can see the latest version of GIMP. Let's go to File New. Let's just create a blank canvas 1920 by 1080 should be fine. Uh, let's actually change the background to white better. Let's just use our um, paint bucket tool. Where are you hiding from me? Let's see. Oh, it's already selected. So let's just make it white, let's fill it white, and then we'll click on the text tool. Let's do um, drop. Let's just type in drop shadow test. Let's change the color of the font to maybe black so we can see it a bit clearer. Uh, let's just see, let's just stretch this out a little bit. Uh, let's increase the size of the text and Let's just change the font. So it's already selected. Let's just click here. And maybe we use, um, we just use this font because we're just going to test the drop shadow, right? Nothing special. So let's just test the drop shadow. Um, and what we'll do, just make this a bit bigger. Okay. So let's go ahead and click on the selection tool here, the move tool. Let's click on this text and let's add a drop shadow. Let's see how it works. So let's go to filter. 
Let's go to um, let's see. Light and shadow, drop shadow here. So you can see the drop shadow is behaving correctly. If we click OK, let's go back to the text tool and uh, let's click edit. Let's uh, let's get the bounding box really, really close, right? Sometimes that's how it is. If we click back on the move tool, uh, in fact, that's not quite right. Let's just bring this down a bit to about here. Okay, so let's click here. Let's select it again. Go to filter, lights and shadows, drop shadow. Let's see if we can um, here. So you can see the drop shadow is out of the text box bounding box right it's dropping outside of it that was a real problem in GIMP before you basically couldn't do that so you see when I clicked OK it's, it's actually increased the size of the bounding box here so that was a real problem in GIMP before you, it, like you should just type in some text and you put a drop shadow it would get cut off like it would just be cut off so it wasn't any good it was a problem so now that's been improved that's one good improvement to be fair and I'm sure there's plenty of others like we saw on the website so I'll leave you to go and experiment with this latest version I've, I have tested it slightly before on another machine and it seemed to run a bit more stable it's running quite fast the nice thing is when you install this you'll still keep all of your old plugins so I've got batch image manipulation plugin here and then we should have um, a few other plugins that I installed before um, when I was doing uh, other work and other demos in GIMP, right? So it's not gonna overwrite all your plugins and stuff and your brushes and all that good stuff. So all my fire brushes are still here, which is nice. Okay, let's close down GIMP. That's how you go about installing the latest version, which is uh, version 2.10.14. I would definitely recommend you go and install that version. Uh, it's a bit better than the previous version, just like that drop shadow, just for that improvement alone, I think it's worth installing. Okay, that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you find it useful and I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP web tutorial. Mm -hmm.